A call to prayer behind bars. These men are Taliban fighters in Afghanistan's infamous detention center. Polisharki, a prison complex just outside the capital that holds over 3,000 inmates. But those accused of fighting the Afghan government told us that they'd rather be in Guantanamo than here. Life is bad here. There is a toilet next to where I sleep. I am sure Guantanamo is better than this. It's winter and we are cold. Faisullah says he's an innocent man. I was accused of being a member of the Taliban and got 10 years in jail. I'm not Taliban and I haven't seen them. In the trial they didn't let me defend myself. I just had to stamp my finger on a paper. If they keep me here, I'll end up joining the Taliban. Officials say that they had to remove the Taliban commanders from the general prison population to isolation units after they tried to take over the prison. For three years, this area was completely taken by the prisoners. They even set it on fire. As you can see, uh, the dark ceilings here. Security officers were not even allowed to come in here. Over a month ago, they had to take it back. A month ago, Al Jazeera obtained this exclusive video. 150 Taliban fighters suing shut their mouths to protest against their treatment in this prison. A painful, but they would argue necessary move to highlight their hunger and mistreatment. When we were visiting the jail, one of the inmates accused a prison guard of beating him. Many other prisoners supported the claim. Since I came to this block, I've been beaten four times for no reason. My roommate's been beaten three times. Nobody says anything. Polisharki holds prisoners accused of all crimes, drug trafficking, theft, murder, as well as armed resistance. Many here behind this large walls feel they have been forgotten, clueless of when they may go free. I spent five years in this jail, but I haven't had my final trial. If I got to court, I could be released. But after four years, there still is no final decision. Officials tell us the prison only receives a dollar and a half per day for each prisoner, and that they do the best they can with what they have to provide for them. Afghanistan, they say, is a poor country, and life in the prisons has the same problems that free Afghans face outside. Teresa Wong, Al Jazeera, Polisharki.